This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being presented by the ICC Alumni Association, the Bank of Okolono, the ICC BSU, Choice Pond with locations in Tupelo and Fulton, Buddy Long and the Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, Food Giant, the ICC Foundation, your Etiwamba County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Little Caesars, Renaissance Bank, Sonic, and the ICC Wesley Foundation. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Live with the Tribe. We've got a special edition this week. Uh, we've got a couple of Hall of Famers, Coach Max Munn and Paul Johnson, coming in to join us uh, today on Live with the Tribe. It's going to be a fun show. We get to eat lunch with these guys uh, at least once or twice a week, and they've got some good stories, and uh, Max is quite the storyteller as well. So when we come back, we're going to sit down with Coach Paul Johnson and Coach Max Munn when we come back with more here on Live with the Tribe. What if Mississippi's community and junior colleges didn't exist? You'd see a much different Mississippi, one without these degrees. And the jobs that come from them. One where many would fail to get a higher education because affordable community and junior college is their only hope. We're in danger of this happening thanks to state budget cuts. In fact, Mississippi once ranked number one in America's community and junior college systems. Number one. But now has slipped out of the top ten. Way out. Which is already a consequence of budget cuts. So, what if community and junior colleges didn't exist? If budget cuts continue, we may well find out. Contact your legislator and tell them to support Mississippi's community and junior colleges. At Food Giant, serving you is our number one priority. We offer the freshest produce, highest quality meats, tasty baked goods, and the best meats and cheeses in our deli department. At Food Giant, you'll always find a staff member eager to help you find exactly what you need. Freshness, variety, value. Shop Food Giant today with several locations in North Mississippi. A juicy, flavorful cheeseburger that's under 350 calories? Feels like we're getting away with something. I know, right? You thinking what I'm thinking? Taking these burgers, crossing the border, and changing our names? No. <sighs> Ordering shakes. Oh. And changing our names. I'm gonna be Marianne. I'm gonna be Dottie. I'll be Shane. For a limited time, get a flavor-packed cheeseburger with none of the guilt. New Sonic Signature Slingers, starting at just $1.99. This is how you Sonic. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football, y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Burgers. Seven layer dip. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold coke. It's got to be cold. It's tailgate 101. Helen, don't you know Little Caesars has the extra most bestest for six bucks? Six bucks? I gotta sit down. Yeah. It has the most cheese and pepperoni for the nation's best price. Most cheese and most pepperoni? I gotta sit all the way down. Get the most cheese and most pepperoni for the nation's best price. Little Caesars Large $6 Extra Most Bestest. Pizza, pizza. Today, you are connected more than ever. Your friends, your family, your life. Having a partner that understands banking is what you do on your time, anywhere you like. It's about being connected which is easy with convenient locations in your community. Understanding that sometimes you need to speak to real people with real answers. Banking partners with the services you desire who understand how you want to bank. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. And welcome back to Live with the Tribe, a very special edition. We'll call this the Hall of Fame edition of Live with the Tribe. Uh, we've got a pair of innovators with us. The Hall of Famers, Coach Max Munn, Coach Paul Johnson joining us on this week's show. Guys, first off, thanks for joining us. We typically have this conversation over lunch, uh, so brought it on the show here. And Coach Max, we'll go ahead and let you introduce yourself uh, when you were here at ICC and everything that you did while you were here at ICC. Max Munn started at IJC, Tupelo Campus, August of 1974. Spent about four and a half years there, wanted to come to the Fulton campus. At that time, it was more a collegiate-type campus with the dorms and athletics and Got a call one day from a dean of students, W. Box, says, uh, I have a way to get you to full the campus, but you may want to do something for a couple of years that you don't want to do. I said, doesn't matter. Anything will be fine. I said, what? He said, he said, coach women's basketball. 
I said, do what? <laughs> <laughs> so 14 years later, those two years were up. Gotcha. Polly? Well, I, I came here in, in 1974 too, or 73. I can't remember exactly <laughs> the, which was the fall, but but uh, I was hired uh, by the late uh, Ben Jones, which is a legendary coach, certainly in the Fulton area because he coached here at IHS for so many years and went on to some other areas too. Uh, but I was hired as an assistant football coach and uh, took on those duties for uh, about a year and a half and, and kept those duties. But um, one spring there, we, uh, uh, they, started, they decided they wanted to start a tennis team. And of course, uh, who, you know, they looked for somebody who's supposedly not doing anything in the spring. Mm -hmm. So uh, they approached me and I said, well, yeah, show me what a ball looks like and a racket and well, we'll take it on. So, uh, you know, about 45 la years later, I retired as the ICC tennis coach. Wow. And so you talk about that, and Max, you also kind of the same story with softball. Yeah. Um, Reiterate just a little bit. I, I was always worked in the student affairs department, both campuses, and I, I retired here as director of student affairs. Well, shortly after, years or two after basketball started, my some of my girls came to me in the spring. And says, Coach, we don't have anything to do in the spring. I said, You know what about studying? And no, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> so we want to do softball. So I, very briefly, I went to the dean of students. Says, Hey, we'll do the softball. It'll be relatively inexpensive. Some some travel. A little bit of equipment, wear uh, women's basketball uniforms, and that I, I, I get it started and, and coach it, and they agreed. And I then I conned the late and great Hall of Famer, uh, my buddy Linda Partlow, to helping, and we did a co-coach for three years before uh, I departed from that area. Linda kept it, kept it going. Uh, of course, you guys, that's kind of, of course, you're good buddies, but you also spent some time coaching with Coach Partlow. Uh, I had a chance to know her just a couple of years before. Uh, she passed here at ICC, just an amazing, amazing awesome. human being. Awesome. Uh, just some of your memories, and you guys feel free to talk amongst yourselves, maybe, uh, about some of your memories about Coach Partlow. Well, uh, I'll you know, <coughs> kind of tell you the story of how she became the women's tennis coach there. I, I coached uh, probably two, I'm not sure, two or three years as the, as the head coach of both men and women, and I, I found out that Linda was on campus. She had been in Tupelo too, I believe. I think so. And uh, she came over this campus, and I knew that she had played tennis at the W, had played college tennis. So uh, first thing I did was approach her about taking the girls, uh, relieving me a little of my <laughs> duties there. And and she was very, she you know, she was acceptable to that idea. So she took over about seventy nine somewhere in there, and uh, like Max said, just a. Uh, uh, Real uh, I, individual that you could really count on what she said she'd do, and what I liked about her is she didn't take any bull. No. She didn't. Uh, no, I always, I always liked it because she would. You know, I, I, I'm not really a confrontationalist, so anything like going to the president for some new nets or something like that. I know she'd do it because she she go in there and not say can we get them say when are we gonna order them. <laughs> so she, uh, I really enjoyed my years with uh, with Linda too. Just a great person to work with. Obviously, had the man I wasn't kind to helping me because that was an easy con. Yeah. I, I, I always remember she. I took her student recruiting one time. That was one of the hats I wore here was, and uh, we made it shown it's in Tupelo. I guess we were going to South Tula or somewhere like that and. I said, Parlo, you want to get a snack before we go? Sure. But she orders a hamburger and fries and drink. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. So she loved to eat as well. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, you take a look back at where you were at IJC at the time. And look at the college now, here in 2018. It's, I was here in early 2000s. This changed a lot since then. But from your time from 70, early 70s 74. to now, uh, what is your impression on the growth of the college? Unbelievable. It's like a did a totally 180. Yeah, un, you know, unbelievable change. You, you, uh, it always feels good to me to be able to, to understand where things were and how it has changed. I love to tell people, you know, about that. In fact, I probably taught one of my first classes ever about right where we are. Wow. Back in, <laughs> in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> I, 
fine arts building was the building on campus mm -hmm. that we yeah. tooted our horn about. And, there and you go. Uh, of course, I remember before the fine arts, actually, I actually lived about where the fine arts building is. Wow. So, so the campus <laughs> so has obviously changed. I can remember this. I didn't know you was that old. <laughs> <laughs> can anybody remember the swimming pool? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it used to be a swimming pool on campus. Nice, nice. Uh, well, uh, Max, you said you did 14 years of basketball. Uh, any any special memories, anything that kind of stood out in your mind there? I know you, uh, that you won, what, eight uh, Christmas Thanksgiving tournaments down at Pearl River? Yeah, we we flip-flop between Pearl River and Jones. Yeah. You know, and yeah. It's kind of a pre-Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't remember. Actually, we won every one that we played in, which was nice to beat those guys. Uh I think what stands out the, the most to me is, is so many of the players that got the all stayed and they and they signed uh, I forget forty something signed you know senior college scholarships and today I see in the paper a lot of time where such and such former player is now teaching somewhere and I just got the word that one of my former players Dr. Keecher Armstrong is being inducted into the Mississippi. Uh, yeah, MACJC. Okay, yeah. sorry, I've, yeah. I've lost those, those yeah, yeah. acronyms. The, the Sports the Hall, Hall of Fame. fame. Yeah. She's going to be, uh, I guess, the commencement yeah. speaker at graduation. I just learned that. So those are special moments for me. Yep. And uh, Polly, I know uh, you're actually not too far removed. You're only two, three years removed yeah. from coaching. So uh, so you still see some of the kids now that are even still in college. But I know you've got to kind of echo the same sentiments right. as Max. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's, like you say, you'd like to go back. I I even have uh, several of several players that I coached them, and I also coached their kids. Uh, but I guess about three different ones, you know. That uh, I thought I might hold on for grandkids, but uh, <laughs> I didn't make that. Uh, you know, of course, you know. I as far as a football coach, and and it, it won, but you know, IJC had really had, had never obviously never won a championship, and weren't known for their football too much there. And then, you know, when me and Jones uh, came in and hired uh, me and Mike Eaton, and, you know, I, we, we saw the culture change, you know, and, and, and he was, Coach Jones, you know, had, had a vision of winning the state championship, you know. And uh, our third year we did, and we, you know, that always sticks out in my memory of, of you know, Knowing that we did something that a lot of people didn't think could be done, you know, and uh, and then you know, two years later we went down to Jones, uh, and and beat them. Yeah. You know, uh, they were a nationally ranked team that uh, we weren't given much of a chance, and uh, won that second state title. So, you know, certainly those are good memories. You know, I, all my tennis titles are all all memories, you know. Um, I, I would like to say I was also an excellent cross country coach. Yes, yes. Uh, for three years. And, uh, uh, oh, here, here's the thing. That's now. a new one to me. Where yeah. was that? Here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, but you are probably only ski coach here at ICC, or, or well, not coach, but teacher. Right. We we I guess uh, uh, I offered the only snow skiing class I ever taught at ICC. I also offered the only scuba diving class I ever taught at ICC. In fact, you went on that trip, didn't you? Didn't we go down to the Bahamas? You yeah, but I didn't, do I didn't do any scuba diving. Okay. Well, you just, <laughs> I might have got my face on the water, just, but that's it. Okay. Yeah, we went to the Bahamas a long time ago. Yeah. Paul and I did a bunch of, uh, and other folks, in uh, spring break, a lot of the college folks would go uh, snow skiing in Colorado almost every year, what, 20-something years consecutive plus. Well, and talk about those memories, because <coughs> that's one of my favorite things to do when we do sit down and we're all together. Uh, you guys get get to run and tell about old stories and uh, things like that. You know, what are some of those memories that you share uh, during your time here at ICC? Well, I'm gonna let Max. He he's the storyteller, especially of the snow skiing. So I'm gonna give him the floor. I got to get on Paul a little bit. We we took turns in driving, and I just I, I gave up my shift, and I, we started out and looked. I looked over. I had about an eighth of a tank of gas. I remember that one time, and another time he was headed to Nebraska. So we had to correct him there. But the funniest <laughs> thing, we went to Breckenridge, and, and he said he knew he, he had been there before, and you knew Breckenridge, and we drove around about 30 minutes. He couldn't find anything. And he said, it sure has changed since the last time I've been here. And the Larry Boggs says, uh, well, when was the last time you was been here? had been here? He said, uh, you know, what, what the, whatever that date was, it was about 20 years earlier. So. <laughs> now, I have, been on a, I have been on one of those cross-country trips with Paulie. Uh, he and I loaded up and drove from Fulton, 
Left about 4 o'clock in the morning and ended up in Tucson, Arizona a couple of days later. Jeez. And I kind of got a story on that one as well, and you'll get a kick out of this. Polly, we're taking turns driving, and Paul's like, well, I'm going to go back here and take a nap for about 4 or 5 hours. You you drive and wake me up, right. and I'll, I'll take over. Well, his 4 or 5 hours passed, and I pulled over, tried to wake him up, and he's like, yeah, 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 I'm just going to sleep a little bit more. Well, about 9 hours later, Polly wakes up, and... He's like, oh, well, I guess I'm ready to drive now. So you know, he kind of he kind of hung me out to drive on that one. I don't remember that, <laughs> <laughs> but it was. I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But it was one of those where it, it's those special memories that that bond makes over the years that really keeps you bonded after ICC, and that's kind of what ICC is. It's that family atmosphere, that special family togetherness that even extends well after years at ICC. Uh, just talk about how that is, not only with you guys, but also some of your former players that you still get to see and talk to. Go ahead, Paul. Well, um, you know, uh, a lot of tennis is, is kind of a sport that, that uh, you know, it transitions on into adulthood, you know. Most people, you know, they played football here, uh, you know, in that career either here or, or two years later at a college, you know. Few make it to the pros. Uh, but most of the, the, the players that I have go on and play league, and, and I always enjoy, you know, I see them everywhere, you know, where, where it be Tupelo or Jackson or something. I go to, you know, go to a tournament and see, watch them, some of them play, you know, and just, you know, you can keep in touch with them that way. We've had, you know, just hundreds, of, well, you know, I don't know, hundred probably hundreds of, of players that have went on and played uh, USTA league tennis, and uh, one thing I've kind of noticed is that uh, many of the USTA leagues in Mississippi is made up a lot of, of ex-community college players, where it be ICC or Meridian or Jones or whatever. You see a lot of those players, and, you know, you remember them, they remember you. And uh, so, it, of course, that's an a excellent way to, to, to run into some of them, you know. And then, you, like I say, you see some of them doing well, uh, you know, we've got some doctors out there. Some uh, we got one lawyer and uh, a bunch of school teachers. Yeah. Well, the good news uh, is if you get in trouble, you got a lawyer to take care right. of. Right. <laughs> Max. Well, in my case, I've I, I have I've been retired a long time from here, like almost 15 years, and I hadn't coached in a long time before retirement. So I think somewhere in the '94 season. So many many years ago, 20 plus, 25 plus, I haven't just don't see too many of my players in person. I read about them in the papers uh, or maybe on Facebook they're doing something in the in the teaching area, that type thing. But And to go talk about that, you may not think about it this way, but now looking back over your career, you are able to positively, positively influence a lot of lives that have went on and spread, spread your positive message along the way. Max, we'll start with you. How does that make you feel knowing that at the time it may have not seemed like anything other than, you know, you being a coach, a job. But now that you look back over your career, you see people that you coach going to be successful. You know, that's got to give you a good feeling. It does. You know, you're you try to get across early that you're here uh, to play, number one, to for academics. Number two, you're, you're getting a chance to play basketball. You'll not make your living playing basketball. So it gets you a, a good degree that you can uh, – and do well for the next 35, 40 years in. So it's really good to see those folks out there doing exactly what we try to get across to them. Yes, uh, you know, as you were saying that, I started thinking about, um, you know, we uh, in tennis we've had quite a few uh, international players. So that's kind of, you know, sometimes I think about, you know, how, the, how ICC, the name of ICC has, you know, is in Brazil and Australia and uh, – in fact, uh, I guess when the the Rio games, mm -hmm. there was a picture that came out. Uh, one of my dad's, one of my former players, his dad, he had an ICC T-shirt oh, awesome. on yeah. with with the he had his hand up on the uh, the uh, torch. Oh, they nice. were taking the torch, wow. I guess, through uh, through uh, uh, Brazil oh, there, I awesome. guess, you know, like yeah. they did in the U.S. years mm -hmm. ago, and. Uh, he had that torch and had the ICC tennis on it. What do you find said, that Yeah, you know. That's pretty neat. <laughs> sure do. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, we're starting to close things up here. Um, 
before we go, and I want to give you guys obviously the open floor to say thank you to anybody that's helped, you know, been a part of your career through along the way. But before we do that, I want each of you to tell me what does ICC mean to you from then and now? What does ICC mean to you? Well, it, it, it was a great career, a great place to work, and from a student standpoint, it was a great place for students to start. If it wasn't for community colleges, the 15 and, and across the Mississippi, there's a lot of folks that wouldn't be getting an education, and I'm one of them. I came from a very small school down in Little Rock, Mississippi called Beulah Hubbard High School, and if it wasn't for East Central Junior College, I would probably have been farming today. Nothing wrong with farming, but I like worked in the college when I did farming. So it's a great place to work, great opportunity for young kids. Well, well it's kind of the same for me. I, I'm a product of Itawama Junior College. Um, yeah, and, you know, again, it would have been, I, were, I would probably could have went on to college, you know, but it was just a good good transition. I did play football here two years, so that was, uh, you know, something, some memories I, I formed back, uh, back then. I guess maybe that's why I, I know a little more about the campus out here, uh, you know, though in, during those years in the middle 60s also. But, uh, you know, I just think about, here. here's my greatest pleasure. Players come back and say, Coach, this was the best two years of my life, and you can't beat that. That's true. Well, guys, uh, got a couple more minutes here. Uh, I know uh, there's a lot of maybe some, hopefully some former players watching uh, so family members, uh, things like that. And I know you guys may go back and watch it on Facebook later. Uh, just give you an opportunity now to kind of just address anybody you want to address. Keep it nice, though, Polly. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but just a thank you or maybe a hello or maybe just a few words of encouragement. Oh, geez. Uh, so many people made it possible to, you know, it seemed like doors just keep, kept on opening, kept on opening. Uh, it was just it was just a great place to be, great, great time to spend 29 years of my 34 years of, of uh, education and I have a career. And as I, and when I'm speaking to people now, or just casual conversation, we talk about ICC, I, I find myself st still saying, we. We do this, we do this, or we, we, we. And uh, I'll always try to have a, a go-to person at the, at the uh, college when the students outside ask me something I don't know anymore. It was Larry Bach, now I understand it's Marty Cooper. Yeah. Who do who'd I go to? Well, I, you know, I just think about the, of course, I transitioned there. I always think of, of Carl Comer kind of helped me in my transition from being a football coach to, to exclusively a tennis coach. So I kind of thank him for, for helping me at that area, you know, and uh, it's just it's been my home. I've raised my kids here, uh, retired here. And, uh, you know, IJC, ICC will just always be a part of me. Specifically, W. Boggs getting the transfer to Fulton. Uh, Carl Comer, as he was retiring, I was took over many of his responsibilities. So those, those two are most uh, uh, important in my life as far as, as, as opening more doors, for sure. Well, well, as somebody that's part of the ICC family now, we thank both of y'all for uh, laying that foundation to help ICC become what it is today. I don't think uh, really enough people understand that people are res not necessarily respect, but give the proper thank yous to those that came before us to be able to lay that foundation to help us continue to build. Because you talk about starting the first softball team. You started the first softball team wearing basketball jerseys. <laughs> They're now ranked, or at one time this season, was ranked the number five team in the country. So that just shows from the humble beginnings to now a great yep. program. Yep, for, I keep up with them. I still... As a, as a coach, many, many years ago, when I get the newspaper, first thing I do is open the sports page. Hmm. You know, I knew about the, that they lost too close one to Des Moines. Yep, yep. And then, Polly, of course, as you said, you know, you, you started the team and you've built it to not only a, a, much like softball, a nationally recognized powerhouse in tennis as well. So, you know, that's, that's a big credit to both of y'all. So, Paul has some national accolades. I don't know yeah. exactly what they are. I think it's a good time yeah, to let folks know but, this, Paul. Well, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I thought about uh, when you said that, where we started, the courts we had on campus. That's a whole story in itself there. I always tell, you know, we, we, had, we had a court, one court, and it had a fence on two sides, and it had a building on one side, and then we lined up cars <laughs> to, to, as a backstop on the fourth side, and then, you know that was our first tennis court that we.
we started using. Of course, we had a couple down at the junior high, too, uh, that uh, you needed some cars to stop the balls also. So you go from I, I, ironically, we, uh, we did most of our practice, the women's basketball team did most of our practicing at the, uh, at the Fulton uh, junior high. Really? Because the old gym was home for four teams. The college two teams and the high school two teams. So it's kind of hard to get a couple of hours of practice time in. Yeah. I didn't th I thought about that. I didn't really. Didn't really yeah, we did most of before the before the uh, before IHS had the new high their high school. Yeah. We we practiced at the junior high, and then when they moved off campus, we were able to practice here. Gotcha. So, well, guys. Uh, Obviously, we could continue talking forever, and I, and as once again, I really do appreciate uh, y'all's friendship. Uh, of course, I got to know Polly and Max, uh, get to know you over the years as well. It's been great, and uh, guys, I appreciate you taking time out of your day. Polly, I know we're cutting into your afternoon nap. You like That's to brag right. about it's getting close. <laughs> so, uh, hey, anytime y'all around, come by and see us. And uh, thanks again for stopping by and talk to us. Yeah, thanks for a lot for having us. Yeah, thanks. Enjoyed it very much. Well, we'll be back with more with the tribe, live with the tribe, right after this. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being presented by the ICC Alumni Association, the Bank of Okolona, the ICC BSU, Choice Pond with locations in Tupelo and Fulton, Buddy Long and the Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, Food Giant, the ICC Foundation, your Etiwamba County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Little Caesars, Renaissance Bank, Sonic, and the ICC Wesley Foundation. Hey Mississippi, let's fill the gap. Did you know Mississippi's community and junior colleges fill the gap between high school and skilled careers? Or that community and junior colleges are also a great value to students? It's true, not only can they get degrees in these fields, they can actually afford the tuition to get them there. And did you realize that 96% of the state's community and junior college students are Mississippians? Not only that, they tend to stay in the state when they're done with college. And the more students that do so, the more skilled workers we'll have to fill the gap for jobs. And the more people to fill the job gaps, the more money stays in the state. Plus, the value of community and junior colleges in Mississippi is unbeatable. For every dollar the state puts into community and junior colleges, it gets $4.86 back, an almost five to one return on investment. So come on, Mississippi. Contact your legislator and tell them to support Mississippi's community and junior colleges. And let's fill the gap. Sonic Nights is the highlight of the summer. Oh, yeah. There's probably some pretty big names here checking out these half-priced floats. Oh, everyone who's anyone is here tonight. Look, there are those two guys. What are they famous for? Huh. I think for eating here all the time. Are we good at eating here or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. For a limited time, get real ice cream slushes, shakes, and floats half price after 8 p.m. during Sonic Nights. This is how you Sonic. What's better than waiting in line at the bank? Literally everything. Renaissance Bank's mobile check deposit lets you take care of checks wherever you want. Click on Deposit Check in the Renaissance mobile app. Read and hit Continue on the bottom of the notice page. Sign in. Write your name, account number, and for mobile deposit only on the back. Photograph it, front and back, so we know it's real. Type in the amount. Choose the account to deposit into. Click continue and go on your way. You'll receive an email that is being processed, but hold on to the hard copy until the check clears and then rip it up and throw it away. So what are you waiting for? Download the Renaissance mobile banking app and make waiting in line a thing of the past. Check, phone, check. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. And welcome back with more uh, here on Live with the Tribe. The interview was so much fun, it ran a little bit longer than we expected. So we're going to hold this week's rapid-fire questions to next week's show here on Let's Go ICCTV.com. So remember, now coming up this week, there's going to be a lot of rain in the forecast. So there could be some changes uh, on the schedule. So we do invite you to follow us on Twitter, at Let's Go ICC. Visit Let's Go ICC.com. 
uh, to find out if there's any changes as well on that. So that's going to do it for this week's show. I do want to say a special thank you to Lee Adams uh, for running the camera and being here part of the show as well. I'm Adam Gore. We'll see you next time here on Live with the Tribe. When I think of potential, I think of a matchstick. When a matchstick reaches its potential, it releases a flame that ignites everything around it. 2018 brings new potential for you and your life at Itawamba Community College, where you are each empowered to do great things. You can be better, accomplish more, and live a life that is above the bar. Your potential is here.